find this, it must be forgotten to remember. What a huge paradox it all becomes. Yes, until you see that there's something that's aware of the even the forgetting and the remembering, which is neither forgotten nor remembered. <laughs> As Muji put it beautifully, he said, I am. Before the idea that I could forget or the idea that I needed to remember was believed. And it's just to believe. The belief I could forget, the belief I could remember. Isn't there something that's aware of both the forgetting and the remembering? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I remembered. I forgot. I remembered. There's something else there that's far more subtle that just knows and always knows. It's what perceives everything. And the, these practices I'm talking about are simply bringing us to the point where we're seeing on a very subtle level all of the little activities of, of mind and behavior and, and seeing that they're all empty. They're just happening. And that there's something absolutely unmovable that you can't call it a self, you can't call it not a self. Um, it is... It's every, it's, <laughs> it's just this um, pure presence. You, you can't really even use a word for it. But it's obviously here. It's obviously the ultimate perceiver, which is you. It seems like a paradox, but you can see that even the paradox, right, this motion. And, and then it's pure, just pure joy at the mystery and the wonder of it and how in wow what <laughs> how in the world <laughs> and then and and that's the realization of the of your buddha nature okay. and that becomes something that's right now it, it's not a future event it's not something off there somewhere Right. Oh, I'm going to be a Buddha. If, oh, no, this is what's happening right now. And my experience right now is the Buddha experience. And every little thing that's going on is that. That there's no special conditions. There's no special life. There's no special form. There's no special anything. That your life, just as it is right now, is the Buddha. Period. Thank you, Jennifer.